who are, are ready to give a presentation, put up their hands now, please. Right. 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 Now, you will have two minutes each. Now, over here, Catherine is the timekeeper, right? Two minutes and you're off. Now that's hard to prove until you work out how to use the pigeonhole theorem. This, hey, two people. this is a shuffled pack of cards. Uh, you can check them afterwards. Uh, and um, this is just a brilliant excuse to use for something you haven't done, particularly if it's to a non-maths uh, member of senior management. So, uh, if you do the same thing with a cube, You've got one plus two axle cubed. Here, and I've got the powers right, the six is the total surface area, so it's the number of faces. This is the number of edges. If you put x is minus Sorry. one, you get Euler's relation, and you can generalize it to more generally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's always one. There's always one. Uh, so th those of you who are aware of power series probably, that, by the way, this is um, one of Euler's most reckless uh, proofs when he was quite a young uh, Carol man and not the analyst he turned into be. So if you know power series, sine x over x is that. We all used to talk about all of the and it's fun. And it's a lovely chorus, sort of like Eli, Eli, O. And I think we like to I'm a big fan of mathematical logic. Um, so, uh, a jam sandwich is better than nothing. Nothing is better than champagne. Hence, a jam sandwich has to be better than champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, clearly very mathematical, as Pythagoras pointed out. I should uh, point out that the title of this song has a shape in it too. Uh, so, if you're cooking the books, if you're making up your numbers, uh, you might be you might try to pick all your numbers evenly, or pick fours, fives, and sixes. If your numbers do not follow Benford's law, you may be committing fraud. <laughs> Uh, there are about 100 keys on the keyboard, if you count shift and whatever. So the probability a monkey gets it correct, about 1 over 100. There are about a million characters in the complete works of Shakespeare, so the probability a monkey gets them all right is 1 over 100 to the power of a million, which I'm going to call x. x is very small. Very, very small. But it's very is close. Second prize with 21 points. Getting a version of Terry G9 in Greek is Tony Robin with his area voice. And the winner with just one point more, 22, was James with his Benford Law.